Hello my friends, Retro Stu here as always and today I bring you my latest month of pickups and nothing else to say, let's get started. Oh, and there's some gifts. Bams. So what did I get this last month? I got some cool games for all the consoles that I collect for. I got games for the Master System, I got games for the Super Nintendo, I got games for the Master, oh, the Master, the Mega Drive uh and the nes and of course the tv game aka famicon so let's get this started i'm going to start with these games i'm going to start with the nes games these are the, the first ones i got this month of august of 2020 and what did i get i got three games i got cobra triangle by rare pretty cool check it out it's fun simple great game rare actually did pretty good games on the nes i think they're underrated nobody talks a lot about them of course everybody knows what cobra triangle is but specifically talking about rare on the nes nobody does and they actually did pretty good games i like them a game that i played a lot when i was a kid i didn't have it but a friend had it and finally i got the opportunity to get it back and it's by taito and it is power blade my god is this game amazing you guys should check it out if you have the opportunity get it i got it at a nice price i already beat the game because it's not that hard of a game to beat but it's an action platformer pretty cool you guys should check it out i love this game and i would like to get power blade 2 of course it is extremely expensive so only if i get lucky to find it and the last game and yes game that i'm going to talk about in this video is puznik puznik is fun and simplistic it's a great puzzle game you guys should check it out it's fun now I'm going to talk about aka TV games, aka in this case Famicom clones from back in the day. And I have two games. First game I'm going to talk about is, is my TV game version of Double Dribble. When I say it's a TV game it's because the label is just like the original Famicom one. These are first generation clones. And you can see by the way this is full board, it's not dot point. Crap. This is made to, to resist and endure through time. Through time. And I bought this from Up Your Arsenal. And he ended up giving me this Dandy card for the TV game too. A multi card for the Dandy. I'm not crazy about multi cards, but I like the Dandy cards. And they're not very common in this part of Europe. So great ad. And thank you for this gift, my friend. Continuing. The, la the only Super Nintendo game I got this, this month was a gem. Um, I played it. I had this on the Sega Saturn. And I played the hell out of it. Back in the day, I had a Sega Saturn. If you know about my story, I did have a Sega Saturn. Yeah, I had a 32-bit CD console back in the day. Now, I don't care about CDs. And this is actually an excellent port. I have a friend that has a channel. You guys should check it out. He has an amazing story on this game. He is Retro Games Force. And the game is Street Fighter Alpha 2. He has a game about, uh, video about this game. And it is the impossible port of Street Fighter Alpha 2 for the Super Nintendo. You guys should check out that video. His channel is amazing and his review about this game is one of my favorite videos on his channel. So check out Retro Games Force. So let's continue. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the three Master System games that I got. Today I'm well presented on the Master System. So let's continue. Three games that I got for the Master System. First one I'm going to talk about is Rainbow Island. Yeah, it's more like the arcade port. Uh, it's a little bit easier than the NES port of this game. I prefer the NES port, but this one's okay. The NES one seems to be a little bit more personalized and different from this original one, but it suits better in terms of gameplay. And funny enough, 99% of the time Master System games look better than the NES ones, but this is not the case. I love the NES port, and this one is so-so. Let's continue. Another game that I got for the Master System, I had it on the Mega Drive, the, the number 2 of course, Space Harrier 2, and finally I got Space Harrier 1 for the Master System. Love this game, excellent fun. And another game that was originally a port for the arcades and then came out on the Mega Drive but does not you know pass well from the arcade to the home port but it's okay it is dead angle and it's a first person 
shooter style perspective and it remembers a little bit Dick Tracy but Dick Tracy on the Mega Drive is 10 percent 10,000 percent better than this one and I know there's Dick Tracy on the Master System too but I don't have it yet but that angle it's okay is it amazing no is it bad no will you die if you play it no it, it's okay let's continue now down to the mega drive i got three things about the mega drive i want to talk about one of them is a gift but i'm going to start with these two games that i got the first game that i got these were these could have been in the west fruit chasers episode but i was on work and i just took five minutes off just to go there in a hurry and come back and get these games and the first one is empire of steel complete in the box i beat this game the other day i'm on vacation i beat it it's an amazing game it's an amazing space shooter love it and the other one is a game that i didn't even know they had a version on the mega drive because i always have it on the master system i have speedball one and two and now i have speedball two on the mega drive of course it's exactly the same game a little bit graphically better of course it's mega drive but it's okay it's fun. I love speedball games. Last Mega Drive thing I'm going to talk about is not exactly 100% for the Mega Drive. It's for all Sega consoles from back in the day. You can use it on the Mega Drive, the Mega CD, the Mega CD 2, the Master System 1, 2, and 3, and on the Game Gear. And it is the box for the Transformer with the Sega Portugal Seal of Guarantee. That is amazing. And it came with this little ticket game a lot. And I have to say thank you to this little gift to my friend. Retro Raider, as always, João Mateus, thank you, my friend. You always give me cool stuff. And I love getting cool stuff for you, too, my friend. The last thing I'm going to talk about in this video is this little bomb that came directly from the New York Museum of Nintendo. If I'm not mistaken, that's the name of the place, or if it's the Super Mario Museum, I remember right now. But it's a cool little version of these bombs from the Super Mario games. I'm forgetting the specific name of those right now. Probably everybody's gonna say, dude, you don't remember the name? No, I don't right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. But Daniel Ramsch, thank you, my friend, for this cool little gift to, to join the other figures that I have from Super Mario and Sonic. And this is all I got for this month. Not a lot of stuff. Of course, August is a little slower month. And as usual, if you guys know what I'm talking about, I only do pickups and finds when the prices are amazing because I do not believe in paying a lot for games. Sorry, but I don't. Even if it's a gem, I'll fin two or three times and if I can get it cheaper, the better. So I never run after prices. I wait and they eventually show up. Example, this Street Fighter Alpha 2. I've been waiting for years to complete all Street Fighter games on the Super Nintendo and finally it showed up at an amazing cheap price. So that's another game that I add to my collection. So my friends, this is all I have to t talk about this video. Uh, I will be doing the giveaway ch challenge in one video or two. I will say who won what. I have three games to, to give. And my friends, if you know what I'm talking about, that video is still up. You can still try to bet a number if nobody bet on that number. And good luck. So my friends, nothing else to say. Be well, and if you're on vacations, have a nice vacation. If you're not, have a good work day. And if you're a game player and lover like me, check out my videos, subscribe, and nothing else to say, my friends. Be well.